Traffic signals at a busy New Orleans intersection have gone dark yet again. Now, a few weeks ago, we reported the lights at Claiborne and Louisiana were blinking. A day later, they were fixed. But Alyssa Curtis visited those streets yet again and found even more frustrated drivers. This intersection sucks. She's talking about the intersection at Claiborne and Louisiana. The traffic signals are not working again, and this time, they've gone dark. It's horrible. They need to fix the streets. It's just horrible. Tuesday, drivers were sitting in near standstill traffic, maneuvering between other cars and trying to inch their way across the street. There were no other traffic signals like a stop sign to divert traffic. It makes it hard for me to get home every, every day because I live in Slidell, so I got to go over the twin span. Plus, crews were out there forcing traffic to two lanes instead of three, but they weren't working on the lights. We've reached out to the city and the Department of Public Works to find out why the signals are out. A few weeks ago, WWL reported the same lights were blinking. The next day, they were fixed. At that time, DOTD explained to us that intersection includes a state road, but they contract the maintenance of that intersection out to the city. They told us the city is the first point of contact for Claiborne in Louisiana. Then it goes to a third party contractor, then DOTD. We were told it was out in December due to a weather issue, but residents say it wasn't long before it went out again. Those driving along Louisiana aren't too upset. It is not frustrating. Matter of fact, I almost prefer it. Really? Why? <laughs> so many people say the opposite. <laughs> I don't know. I find, well, see, going that way, it's bad. Yeah, but going this way, it's not so bad. You know, I avoid this street certain times of the day because of the traffic. But those driving on Claiborne, especially eastbound, tell us it's inconveniencing their time. 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 I'm I'd be trying to get home in the evening. So. How long does it take sometimes to get through this area? Uh, about a good maybe 20 minutes and they want it fixed. That it's troublesome, it's uh, time consuming, and it's really, it's, it's a shame that the city doesn't take better care of the streets. Once and for all. Alyssa Curtis, WWL, Louisiana. We reached out to the city and to the Department of Transportation. We haven't heard anything back just yet.